Hello everybody, I'm Tanya Penny, your self-love catalyst, intuitive and abundant life coach. And I'm taking a little break from my women's retreat in Maui to shoot this video for you today. Um, I just knew that I had to make time to do it because this month we are focusing on self-acceptance, love and worth. And this is what I believe the most important key to having a healthy body and to co-create anything that we want in our lives, any area of abundance, whether it be money, time, love, fully living our passions and purpose. This is the foundation. We have to have self-acceptance, love, and worth. So I felt like I needed to shoot this video. So why do we not have complete self-acceptance, love, and worth? And a lot of you, like my clients, might think that you do, but when you really go a little deeper, you can tell that you don't. And the way that we really know if we have complete self-acceptance, love, and worth is by listening to the inner voice, right? And a lot of us have an inner voice that is very critical, that tells us we're never doing enough, we should be doing more, we're not good enough, we should have done this, we should have done that. It's beating up on ourselves, it's judging ourselves, and um, blaming ourselves, right? Um, so that is a key, um, a sign that you do not have 100% self-acceptance, love, and worth. So one of the things I have my clients do is actually rate on a scale of one to 10. 10 being complete self-acceptance, love, and worth, one being not so much, and hopefully nobody's at zero, though I have had some clients that, that were. And I was very close to that. I was like a one-two when I started this work over eight years ago. Um, I had extreme self-hatred, self-judgment about my body, about everything I did. Um, and so where does that come from? So go ahead and rate yourself one to 10. Again, compassion and curiosity. We can't change anything we're not aware of, okay? So we just wanna see where we are today. And a lot of people ask me, why, why is it like this? Why can I just not accept and love myself? Why do I not know my self-worth? And the simple answer is because we were conditioned. Growing up, we were conditioned by parents, perhaps, that were perfectionists, either for, to themselves or perhaps they did it to you too, right? Never, never good enough. Perhaps like some of my clients and myself, you weren't wanted. And, you know, I hate to say that, but it's true. My parents weren't wanting to get pregnant, right? I was an oops. Um, so if you were an oops and you know it, or you were adopted, you often have that, right? You were given away, you weren't worthwhile, or you weren't, um, you know, you were an oops, you weren't wanted. So a lot of us have that as well, um, that have that experience. And then there are just bad experiences growing up, maybe kids making fun of us at school, um, being abused, um, lots of different life challenges, right? Where we feel we're not good enough or there's something wrong with us or we're broken. So that in a nutshell is why, okay? So what can we do to heal this? What can we do to cultivate self-acceptance, love and worth? So I wanna give you guys a few tips today for that. And then if you're interested in more, I highly, highly recommend that you check out either my Connecting with the Divine You program where we're gonna spend a whole month on self-acceptance, love, and worth, or the full-out year-long Vibra Body and Abundant Life Mastery Program, where again, we will spend the first month on acceptance, um, self-acceptance, love, and worth. And you can find all that information below this video. So tips, number one, be aware of. So tune in and listen to, okay, what is my voice telling me? And actually write it down. And I know that seems counterintuitive, like why would we want to focus on it? But again, we have to be aware of what the voice is saying for us to be able to, to work with it and to shift it. So writing down, tip one, write down what that voice is saying. What negative things, what self-limiting things, what judgmental things is it saying about you? Number two, anytime you notice that, um, that voice and what it's saying, just acknowledge it. Okay, this is what it's saying. It's not true. Actually say that. Acknowledge what it's saying and saying, you know what, that's not true. I am completely lovable, worthwhile, acceptable, just as I am today. My body, um, 
my smarts, um, the way I manage money, whatever it is, you guys, we, in order to change anything, we have to accept it, okay? Including ourselves. So I call that thought shifting. So acknowledge the quote unquote negative voice or thought and then shift it, turn it around and speak the truth, right? Which is we were all born perfect, just as we are, right? You don't, and you don't have to do anything to be worthwhile. You just are, because you're here. <laughs> so that's the second tip, thought shifting. And number three, I highly recommend to listen to a guided TMP, therapeutic meditation practice. And I gave you a sample practice below this video. This walks you through the whole process of accepting all parts of you, right? Your breath, your desires, your feelings in your body, your emotions, your thoughts and beliefs, and ultimately connecting with that which is bigger than you. So I highly recommend you do it one time a day and you get to use the sample for free for a little while. And again, you'll get 24 guided therapeutic meditation practices on all the different keys all the different belief systems um, if you sign up for Vibrant Body and Abundant Life Mastery. And those are available right away for you to start using when you sign up, as well as all the audio lessons on all the keys, right? So you can check that up below. And if you're not sure you want to sign up for a year-long program, um, try out the four-month Connecting with the Divine You program, okay? That's a great taster. <laughs> um, so those are, my, those are my tips for today. Rate yourself one to 10. Write down what that voice is telling you. When you notice it coming up, be aware of it. Name it, say what it's saying, and then shift it with an opposite positive truth. And then use a guided TMP practice every day. And if you can't find any other time, bedtime, hit play. You don't have to hear a word of it. Um, it's okay if you fall asleep. Yeah, it's great, right? And it works on your subconscious mind. And then if you want to go deeper and further this year and work with me to not only have self-acceptance, love, and worth, but a full-out abundant life, check out the programs below. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me, tanya at tanyapenny.com. And I will get in touch with you soon. Have a beautiful day, and remember that you were born perfect and that acceptance, love, and worth really is our birthright. And that's the place to live from, to heal your body, mind, and to co-create abundance in all areas of your life. If you don't think you're worth it, you're probably not gonna receive it. Have a great day.